trying a video of the uh, overview of and review of literature description. It's uh, how to set it up. So hopefully this is going to work for me. Um, I've been having some trouble with it. So uh, the overview. What we try to do is give our readers a general idea of what this paper is going to be about. Sets up the context in the situation. Basically says what well, here's what we're responding to. Um, very much like the facts in the stasis theory, explains the situation and uh, gives us the key players and helps bring us into focus on the topic. Gives us a summary of these various arguments around the topic and provides a glimpse to your call to action. You should somehow reference your call to action in your overview. Um, basically, I call it a short summary or synopsis of your paper. Helps readers decide whether this is going to be interesting and sets up some expectations. Uh, put yourself in the reader's shoes if you're doing research and trying to find something about your topic. You want to know right away what's going on. That's kind of what we're doing in this overview. I don't really want it to be longer than two pages. Uh, it definitely needs to be more than one page. It's not super short, it's not an abstract, but give your readers a sense of where this paper is going. Um, I want you to tease your reader about the topic a little bit, uh, give some, some clues, um, something to maybe incite them or interest them or say, hey, wait a minute. Um, help them convey the main point to others. So, you know, researchers, we often share our work with each other and we say, hey, I was reading this article, I read about this article that said these various things. I haven't read the entire thing, but I think it's about this. And that's what you're over, what you should do. I want you to think of it like a super long movie trailer that almost gives away the ending. Um, when I say it hints at your, your call to action, it doesn't say the whole thing because part of your call to action is providing the support as to why it's going to work. Um, the other things that you should do, you set the tone for the paper. I want you to, you know, cite things, mention your sources. I'd rather see uh, attributive phrases where you say in this article by so and so, rather than have a citation, but have citations as well. Um, you're establishing your credibility. Uh, you're you're showing your readers that you're serious about this topic. Um, you can give your definitions to keywords or parts about the topics. Um, I want you to think about it as existing as a mini paper. Um, the Little Seagull Handbook talks about proposals, and that's really what this is based on, is a proposal. We do paper proposals when you might submit something to a conference and say, hey, I want to present a paper here, but I haven't written it fully, but I've done a lot of the research, and here's what I want it to do. Um, so um, I say it's like inviting a friend to a party. You promise someone a good time, uh, dancing, good music, that cute person you like. Um, yet we haven't done the research, so you can't guarantee that everything is going to be there. It's going to be exactly like you think. So your paper might change, uh, but your overall goal is there. The proposal is self-aware. You can use phrases like this paper will explore whatever it is about your topic, and your overview can do that same sort of thing. I don't mind that. Next, we have the literature review. Um, this is a list of your sources and it provides a short summary of these major sources you're using. Um, it establishes credibility. It's basically putting your cards on the table. Everything you are re researching and using for this paper is here. You're going to discuss those sources just a little bit. Uh, help your readers understand the context of your sources. And it also says, hey, I have done thorough research. Here's my knowledge of it. I've read everything and I can glean things from it. Um, it allows readers to pay attention to specific sources and maybe read them later because, again, as scholars, we share our information. Um, we're looking for about two to three pages. I want you to uh, basically set this up like an annotated bibliography. List the source author and the title or the title and author, however you want. Uh, and then the source, where you got it, a journal or website, because that's going to help establish your credibility. Um, if you are mentioning a lot of journals or if you're like, oh, I was reading on... Uh, Google or Wikipedia, that doesn't make you sound as smart. So think about that. Uh, what is it that, uh, where you got that source? Um, then have a short summary, three to five lines of that. You know, what is the main idea of that source? How is it going to be used in your paper? You know, what makes it worth citing? Um, connect it to your main idea. You might even connect it to your other sources. You might say, uh, this source builds off of the previous source because it adds this or did more research. You know, identify which sources are you know, integral or you know, groundbreaking to the research. 
you know, um, that's how research is done. Not every source you are using in your paper needs to be in your review of literature, but I think the really important ones should be there. Like I said, think of it like an annotated bibliography. Um, a review of your literature is basically like an annotated bibliography. You can set it up just like it. I won't mind. Uh, Little Seagull Handbook has something on annotated bibliographies. Uh, basically, this is an evaluative annotated bibliography, um, just in a different format. You're telling us why the source is good. Your review literature can have them as works cited entries, and that's fine with MLA formatting. Um, so that's really it. It's, it seems very easy. I think once you start to do it, you'll realize, okay, well, this isn't so bad. I need to know what I'm going to say before I try to say it. Um, so that's what writing the proposal helps us do, is figure out what it is you're trying to say. Um, and then you can really expand it in your researched argument and in your call to action. So I hope this is a helpful. I'm glad this worked out. I've tried recording this three or four times and it's stopped on me. So um, good. I hope everything is working well for you.